Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. We caught up with Gary Holden, the Managing Director of Lodestone Energy in New Zealand, at the Decentralized Energy Canada Forum at Whistler's late last year. He was there to share his work to build solar in every town as the way forward, building a 100% renewable energy grid that is very resilient and great for providing the lowest electricity cost to customers. Gary's the former CEO of Pulse Energy and TransElta in New Zealand, and he was also the CEO of NMAX in Calgary. Well, part of the, part of the concept of uh, imagining an electricity grid with solar in every town is um, solar is is very much now the lowest cost form of energy. Distributing it around the grid um, can can have a positive impact on the cost of future expansions in the transmission and 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 distribution networks. So solar is cheap, and by spreading it around, it help makes the grid resilient. Ultimately, it may not turn out that there's a solar farm in every town, but it's a, it's a mindset. It's thinking about, wow, every town in the back paddock could have a solar farm, just like you might think about having solar on your house or your, or your building. And so it's, it's just getting used to the idea that sometime in the future, there is solar quite literally everywhere. And then if you could take it one more step and then have the people in that town be able to buy the power from that solar farm so that they can um, think about um, kind of like buying local. His idea is to sell solar to customers as much as they need for their home virtually in long-term contracts from local solar projects built with energy storage. If you suddenly buy an electric car, you buy a little more solar. So they do this by matching your consumption measured by a smart meter with nearby solar. Sometimes the rooftop is very expensive to prepare for solar. Trees are in the way, and the house is facing the wrong direction. Maybe they're renting the house and building something on the house roof is not even their decision. And so, so the idea of virtual rooftop, um, being able to stitch together um, the idea that there's no difference between solar a mile away and a solar on the roof of my house, getting that cognitively understood that those are equivalent is the way for everyone to think about, I can make a decision to get solar power one way or the other. So you can buy solar virtually in New Zealand as if it were in your home. When electricity deregulation happened in 1994 to allow this in New Zealand, Gary Holden was there and he helped craft the new rules. One of the key sets of rules was we wanted to have nodal pricing. We cleared the spot price in New Zealand in 285 locations. We wanted to send a signal of where the best locations were to bring down the cost of, of, of uh, line losses. And so we did that in 1994, and I now use those signals to locate solar farms. One really important factor here is Holden's company is not selling energy to the grid, but directly to customers, which means they can literally build as much solar as people want with little or no red tape. And so I live in New Zealand um, because by choice, but now I'm there because I can see it's an environment for taking creative ideas like solar farm in every town and you know customers being able to buy power through long-term contracts, um, I can see how I can make that work there. The rules are friendly and safe for that to happen. And so uh, we're having an absolute blast building a solar farm every three or three to six months. And we expect to be able to do that for the next five or 10 years. And it's just going to be a long sort of fun delivery of, you know, what ultimately is the lowest cost form of energy that, that mankind has ever seen. You can't do this everywhere, but Holden thinks it's the way to go for consumer choice and affordable energy. Holden's goal for Lodestone Energy is to build one megawatt of solar each day and inspire other companies to do the same, thus helping New Zealand get to net zero sometime in the mid-2030s. Learn more on our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.